Hello and welcome back to Chips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate yet another great use for Excel's text to column tool. This time we're going to use text to column to quickly correct date entries. A client called me up in a panic. They have information that they downloaded from the company's mainframe computer. This is what they received and they tried to format it. They came over here, they made a copy of it, they went into format. I'll use the control one keyboard shortcut to bring up the format for the date. This is the format that they want. But notice that regardless of how wide I make this column, the format will not convert to the form that they need. This is the form that they need. They want out of this information, they want month, date, and year. Well, I thought an easy way to do that is to use Excel's date function. The date function in Excel requires three arguments, the year, the month, and the day. So you point to a cell that contains the year, point to a cell that contains the month, point to a cell that contains the day. So as you can see in my formula, I combined the date function with the left function. The left function points over here to this cell and says, give me the four characters that are leftmost in the selection. For the month, I use the mid function. The mid function says go to the cell and then at what position. So at the fifth position, extract the two middle characters. And finally, the day function uses the right function. Point over here to cell A2 and return the two characters that are to the right, the rightmost characters. Well, fairly complex formula. Of course, we could turn that into a, a macro, but I thought, wait a minute, I wonder if I use Excel's text to columns if that will work. So I made a copy, and what I'm going to do is demonstrate how we can use Excel's text to columns to solve our dilemma. Let me make a selection Control Shift Down Arrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the uh, date tab, uh, data tab on the ribbon, and over here in data tools I want to choose text to columns. Now the entries came from the computer and they are fixed width, but in this case we're going to use delimited, and let me show you why. I unselected all of the delimiters, and over here in the third step what I want to do is for the date. Now we do want to have the return come out as month, date, year, but notice that the information in here is organized as year, month, and date. Now watch what happens over here when I click finish. Ready, set, go. <laughs> wow, isn't that great? So that's a great way to be able to transform the information that was an unusable entry. You could, of course, go through and write a fairly complex formula, or you could learn how to use the text to columns. It's really one of my favorite tools. It's a tool that I have a tip for on my DVD, The 50 Best Tips for Excel 2007. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.